Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. You like Christmas ornaments? This is your video. Let's get into it. DIY number one. I got these ornaments from Amazon last year. They should be in my storefront in the description box down below. And then I have these Woodland IOD transfers that I got from my Victorian heart. I will have her website linked in my description box down below. Now I have this white paint and the aged pine from Folk Art and I painted the ornaments white and I am going to do the top part green. But first I'm going to add my transfers to the ornaments. These transfers are so amazing. They are a little pricey, but you can do so much with them. You don't have to use a whole page on just one project. So I think in the end, it kind of works out to be about the same as if you were going to Dollar Tree. So anyways, I am just going to take the little scraper tool thing that they supply with the transfers and I'm just going to scratch the transfers until they're on the ornaments. Then I will take my little finger sander and I'm just going to um, go around the edges just to clean up any of the excess transfer that is laying over the edges. And here's how they look so far. I think these are so stinking adorable. I can't even. <laughs> so now I'm just taking that aged pine from Folk Art, I believe it is. And I'm just doing the top of the ornaments. And then I do go around the edge and just add a little paint to the edges to I don't know if you want to call it distressing it or if it's just, you know, adding some more color and some more dimension to the ornaments. Now, once that's done and they're dry, I'm just going to take some of my jute and I am just going to fold a piece in half, stick it through the top hole of the ornament, and then put the tails in the loop and pull. And then I'm just going to add a knot to the other end of the jute and then cut off the excess Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you and that's it. I think these are so adorable. I know I already said this, but I'm saying it again. They're so stinking cute. I love how these came out. I can't wait to hang them up on my tree. Let me know what you guys think of these. This video is part of the Christmas Ornaments playlist. It is hosted by Chantel from Crafty Hints, and the co-hosts this month are Brenda from Rustic and Lace and Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. I will have all of their channels as well as the playlist linked in my description box down below. When you're done checking out my video, head on down to the playlist and check out everybody's creations you're going to get so much inspiration. 
With all that being said, let's get back into the video. DIY number two. I have these wood blanks I got from Michaels. They come in a four pack. They are three and a half by four and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my white Adirondack paint from Folk Art, and then I was gonna use this aged pine, but I decided against it. So first I paint the wood pieces on the front and the back, and then I'm taking my crocodile and I am going to make a hole in the top of each of these wood pieces. Now once that's done, I have these bamboo sticks I got off of Amazon. They will be linked in my store. Um, and I got them, oh my goodness gracious, when I first started my channel or close to it. So I'm just going to measure the four and a half inch side of the wood pieces. And I'm going to cut these bamboo sticks to that length and I am going to do eight of them. So I'm doing just two sticks per ornament. I hope that makes sense. So I have my miter shears, I measured it out and now I am just going to cut these sticks. Now once that's done, I'm taking my uh, folk art wood tint in walnut and it's like a stain, but it doesn't have you know an odor so I'm going to add that to these bamboo sticks just on the front and the sides and then I'm taking a wipe and I'm just going over to take off the excess and then once of course I get enough of the wood tint on the wipe I no longer need to add any and can just use the wipe I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby this So I set those aside and now I'm working on adding my transfers. I have four and they are so adorable. There's like two owls which I mean owls are like my favorite. And then I think that's a, I don't know, like a weasel or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, and then I have a uh, squirrel. So I'm just going to use my little scraper tool thing and add these transfers to the wood pieces. Once I've got that added, I'm going to take some wood glue and I'm first just going to add it to all of the sticks and then I will take some hot glue and put it in the center of the stick and add it to the side of the ornament. Be 
Now once that's done, I'm just going to take this um, natural and tan uh, jute from Dollar Tree and I cut them into lengths of about eight inches, maybe 10 inches. And I just am folding it in half. I feed it into the hole and then tie a knot at the top. Then I got these mini bows from Amazon and I'm just going to add those to cover up the hole. And then I take some of the um, the greenery, the Christmas greenery from Dollar Tree and I'm just adding a little piece on each side under the bow. And here's how they came out. I think they're so cute. What is that, guys? That first one. Let me know what that is. Then I got a squirrel and the two owls. Look how adorable. Oh my good gracious. I love how these came out. Let me know what you guys think of these. DIY number three. I have these two wood blanks that I got from Michaels again, and they're like about five by seven, I think. So, and then these two beautiful bears. So I'm taking that white Adirondack color from Folk Art and going over the front of these two wood pieces. Then I'm just going to take the transfers and I'm going to add them to the wood. Now I put them down towards the bottom and you'll see why in just a bit. So I'm just lining it up and then I'm going to take my scraper tool and add the transfers to the wood pieces. Now, once I get that on, I'm taking my finger sander and I'm just going around. At first I was going around the edges of the transfer, but then I just went over the whole transfer and I really roughed it up and I love how it came out. So you can see it roughs it up pretty good, um, but I, I, I think it's adorable and look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. So I took some Mod Podge and I went over all of these transfers, just so you know. And then I have this greenery from the Dollar Tree. I took a little piece off of both or off of, oh my goodness. I took two small pieces off the pick and added them to the top of the ornament. And now I have that red and natural jute from Dollar Tree. And I made a finger bow. I slowed it down so you can see um, what I'm doing because I can't explain it. And then I'm just going to hot glue the bow on top of the greenery. And then I do tack the tails down as well. Spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been long to hold you close Forget Then I'm gonna take these large berries from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna take one of them and my utility knife and I'm going to cut it in half and then I cut a little notch out of the bottom, you know, the flat piece so that I can 
glue it right to the top of the bow and it just looks so stinking adorable. And I lit my house with Christmas lights so you should come back home to me. And when we wake up in the morning, I'm gonna play those carols that you love. We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. Once I've done that to both pieces, I'm just taking another piece of that twine and I am going to use that for a hanger. And I just hot glue um, right onto the back of the wood piece on both sides. And this is how they came out. I love these two pieces. These bears are so beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of these. Okay, DIY number four. Now this is some rice paper I got from my Victorian heart and it's gorgeous, you guys. I can't even, it, it, the video doesn't do him justice. So I have these oval wood pieces from Michael's again and you can get wood pieces from the Dollar Tree. You don't have to go to Michael's, um, but I, I did. So anyway, I'm taking some Mod Podge and I'm going over the uh, wood piece and then I'm just going to put it down and lay this rice paper right down on top of the wood. And I'm gonna do that to all three of these pieces. Now, once they're all stuck down, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut the paper and then I'm going to take my finger sander and I'm going to go around the edges and take off all of the excess paper. Now you can see that one of these pieces has some little red berries. I do end up cutting that out and kind of patching it in um, with another piece of the blue. You can't really tell because I it it gets hidden but uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you see the red berries <laughs> and then they're gone that's why so I cut out three of these beautiful animals and what I'm doing is I'm just taking the rice paper and tearing around the area that I want to use and then once that's done, I don't like those harsh edges, those sharp edges from the scissors, so I tend to tear them. So I have a deer and I'm just gonna add some Mod Podge to the back of this paper and then add it to one of the wood pieces. And then you can see I have a um, fox and a wolf as well. So I'm going to repeat this process for all three pieces.
Once that's done, I'm taking the Folk Art Wood Tint in Walnut and I am just going around all three of the ornaments and just giving it a little dimension, making it look a little older and dirtier. <laughs> so I'm doing that with all three. Now I'm taking this greenery. It's got like snow on it. It makes a terrible mess, but it looks so beautiful. So I'm just taking three little pieces off and I am going to hot glue them to the top of each of these wood pieces. Keeping people please, but this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything. And then I'm going to take more of those little mini bows and I'm going to add one on top of the greenery piece. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh. Once that's done, I'm gonna take this black and white gingham ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cut off three pieces. And once I'm done with that, I am going to take the pieces, I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm going to fold the ribbon in half because it was just, a, I don't know, it seemed a little too wide for me. Uh, to use as a hanger so this was how I fixed that <laughs> so here you can see I just folded it right in half and just hot glued it together And then once that's done, I'm taking the ends and I put a little hot glue on the ends and hot glue them together. Then I'm going to take my hot glue again and I'm going to go up, you know, the side, maybe like, I don't know, half an inch or so and hot glue it to the back of these ornaments. And that's it for these. I These are my favorite by far. I think they are absolutely stunning. I just, I can't say enough about this paper and just the way these came out. They're gorgeous. Let me know what you guys think. I want to thank Chantel, Brenda, and Amanda for hosting this amazing playlist. I had so much fun creating these ornaments and can't wait to use them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content and they'll push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me and I will see you next time.